The coronavirus isn't all bad for businesses. You see, it'll actually create a lot of opportunities in a number of different industries when it's all said and done. And I get it. Right now, it's having a lot of negative effects on economies and businesses all over the world. But when it is over, I think there's going to be four industries that are going to see a lot of changes and a lot of opportunities. There'll be great places to either start a business or investment opportunities moving forward. What's up everybody, Michael here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to go over four different industries that'll see a lot of opportunity, growth, and innovation after the coronavirus. They'll be great places to start a business or invest your money moving forward. So anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into number one, which is the health and wellness space. Health and wellness is extremely important in everyone's life. And if the coronavirus has taught us one thing, it's that it is really hard to stay healthy, stay fit from your home. A lot of people can't go to their gyms. Gyms around the nation are shut down and people can't do their normal fitness activities. Even if you just normally run outside or walk outside, some places you're not supposed to leave your home unless you're buying essential items. So that's actually creating a lot of opportunities in the health and wellness space. If we're just talking about fitness, it's showing us how hard it is to reach your fitness goals when you're at home and you don't have equipment. So if you're someone who's entrepreneurial and you want to start a business, maybe you can create some sort of home workout equipment that everyone can have that's easy to store, easy to keep at home. Maybe you want to create home workout plans. There's a lot of opportunities in that space. You just have to look for them. You could create a bike company similar to Peloton that has you know, the equipment and the workouts combined. The other aspect of this is wellness. And if another thing it's taught us is that cooking your own meals, making food at home, it's important to stay healthy and cook healthy. So if you want to start a company related to food, nutrition, you could start, you know, home delivery service, you can innovate and maybe create healthy food plans. I don't know exactly, but it's just something to keep an eye out for moving forward because staying fit, staying healthy, eating healthy, the coronavirus has really taught us that these two things are really, really important. The second area is digital communications and working from home. What I mean by digital communications is companies like Zoom and Slack, which are helping businesses and professionals communicate with other clients, with businesses, and with their team members in their company. Companies like Zoom are used for video communication and Slack is for messaging. Both of these companies have seen immense growth during the coronavirus. They've helped to facilitate the move to remote working for businesses and remote learning for students and schools. Both of these companies have seen immense growth during this time and they're actually places that you might want to look into for the future. If you're not interested in digital communications and maybe starting a business related to that or interested in investing, you could maybe start a product or a service that helps people work from home. If you think more people are going to be working from home, you can make you know, some sort of homework setup that people can use easily store in their house to use and work from home. So you just have to look into this area because it has accelerated the process into working from home because a lot of people can do most of their job from home. And that is something that the coronavirus has taught us is that you don't have to go into your office every single day to be able to get your job done. So if people are going to be working from home more, you might want to look into starting some sort of business related to working from home, whether it's a digital communications business or it's a product or service, or maybe investing into a company that you think could see growth in the future in these areas. The third area is probably the most obvious, and this is e-commerce. E-commerce has seen so much growth during this time period because people aren't leaving their homes. People are buying stuff online. Amazon, you normally can get things next day. Right now, they're struggling to get things to you in three days, four days. Things that would normally come in a day are coming in three or four days. So anyways, with e-commerce, you're gonna see a lot of growth, a lot of change here. Not only am I talking about people using e-commerce maybe more, but also, they're gonna to have to create a more of experience from online because people like to go to stores and try things on sometimes. So companies might have to use AR, VR, I don't know, they might have to use some sort of technology to be able to facilitate an experiential purchase from your home, from your phone, from your computer. So if you're able to come up with an idea that can create an at-home experience, that they would get the same experience in the store, but from home, you might be able to create either a business, and there are a number of different companies that are already doing this. For example, with Amazon or Ikea, they have technology where you're able to you know, take your phone, point it at an area, and you can see how an object would look in your home. But if you wanna do that for maybe clothing or food, I don't know, but there's an, all the different types of e-commerce businesses 
you're going to want to be able to create that same experience that people have in stores at home. And if you're able to do that, you could either create a massive business, either it could be technology, or you could create your own e-commerce store that utilizes that sort of technology. So anyways, if you want to invest or start a business, that's another great place to look in. The fourth and final area is media content producers. These are people who produce content online, create online courses, anything related to creating content online that helps to entertain people, helps to inform people. So if you're someone who creates YouTube videos, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever medium you create content on, you create a blog, that's one thing. If you want to create videos, instructional courses, that's another thing. So anyways, these areas have seen a lot of growth during this time period because people are spending more time at home and have more time to waste. They want to entertain themselves somehow. They might run out of shows on Netflix. Now they want to be able to watch more YouTube videos, learn this online course. So whether you want to create something related to fitness, create instructional fitness videos, or if you want to create baking videos, like something like Tasty, those are areas where you can start producing content and start entertaining people. You also could just create any content you want, post it on YouTube, something that interests you. There's billions of people out there who use YouTube, and if you are creating content, you'll have some niche, some group of people that will be interested in what you're making. You might wanna talk about peanut butter, Smurfs, I don't know what you wanna talk about, but whatever it is, there's gonna be an audience out there that enjoys the same things that you enjoy. So if you talk about that, start producing content, that's a great business opportunity. Another thing is you might wanna invest in companies that are already producing content to help them accelerate their growth because Moving forward, we know that people are gonna be consuming more and more content online, so that would be a great area to look. So anyways, looking at those four different industries, I think you're gonna see a lot of growth and opportunity, just a lot of innovation moving forward. So whether you're an entrepreneur and wanna start a business, or you wanna invest your money in the stock market into one of these companies, I think these are great opportunities for you. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video down below. Leave a comment of your favorite industry that I talked about today. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,